Finishing a basement is one of the most popular home improvement projects going, and it's easy to understand why. There's no simpler and more efficient way to add living space to your home, and there's nothing quite like a bright, cozy, comfortable basement to improve your lifestyle. The trouble is, in my experience, traditional basement finishing systems that use stud frame walls, fiber insulation, and vapor barriers can cause problems. They can set the stage for hidden mold growth, poor energy performance, and even low indoor air quality throughout the rest of your home. Now it's true, not every basement finished in the usual way is gonna result in these problems, but why take the chance? Even many contractors don't realize how inefficient and risky it is to finish basements the way it's always been done with stud frame walls. And that's where I hope this video can help. It covers the information I wish distressed homeowners had had before they finished their basements in the usual way with stud frame walls and carpet and underlay applied directly to concrete floors. It's all about a faster, easier way to create a durable, energy efficient finished basement space using a system that I find very impressive. So let me show you exactly why I like this approach, then you can decide for yourself if it makes sense for your basement finishing project. The main problem with fiber insulated stud frame walls in basements is that they're so vulnerable to water. That could either be liquid water or water vapor. In fact, it's not unusual for insulation to get damp and sometimes even wet. And that's just like sealing a used bath towel in a plastic bag. I mean, mold and mildew are inevitable in situations like that. Even seemingly dry basements can allow water vapor to pass through masonry foundation walls, collecting inside sealed stud frame wall cavities during warm weather. And carpet on a concrete floor is definitely not much better either. Besides being hard and cold on your feet during winter, carpet and underlay applied directly to a concrete floor can encourage condensation during humid summer weather. For 25 years, I've helped homeowners deal with cold, musty finished basement spaces and there's no question in my mind that we need to finish basements differently than we do now and from what i've seen foam wall systems and engineered subfloor systems offer the best approach for creating warm comfortable durable basement spaces the dry core smart wall and subfloor system that you see here is one option that impresses me it not only delivers excellent energy performance but it goes up much more quickly than traditional basement finishing methods. The dry core installation process begins with two by two foot subfloor tiles that interlock on top of concrete floors. Now bonded to the underside of these tiles are high density textured plastic layers that creates an airspace above the concrete. This makes for a warm, dry, condensation proof arrangement that sits on top of any kind of concrete floor. Carpet, laminate, hardwood flooring, vinyl, ceramic tiles, even stone can be applied on top, or you can leave the panels bare if you like. Besides providing airspace, the black plastic membrane allows a small amount of leaked water to drain away harmlessly if need be. Subfloor tiles like these can be cut with any conventional table saw, jigsaw, or handheld circular saw. Then a mallet is used to tap the tiles so the interlocking tongue and groove edges come together. The dry core smart wall system replaces studs and fiber insulation and goes up on top of the subfloor that's already gone down. It's made of three and a half inch thick expanded polystyrene foam with interlocking OSB edges and half inch drywall factory bonded to the interior face of the panels. Wall panels like these deliver R16 of insulating value. And they're also highly resistant to moisture because they contain no sealed wall cavities. And if your foundation is out of line or wonky, that's not an issue because the dry core panels never touch the foundation wall at all. Two by two lumber fastened to the subfloor at the bottom and the joists up at the basement ceiling provide anchor points for the panels so the wonky wavy shape that's so common in foundation walls doesn't show through on your finished basement walls. Special dry core panels are available with cutouts for electrical boxes for light switches and plug outlets and pre-cut channels 
in the foam allow wires to be strung through the panels either during installation or afterwards. Ready to install components are available for completing the outside corners and the factory bonded half inch drywall acts as its own vapor barrier when the joints are filled and the whole surface is painted. Besides offering a fast and simple installation process, panel and subfloor systems offer excellent energy performance and they're not vulnerable in the same way that stud frame walls are. Just be prepared to buck a lot of well-meaning advice from some professionals who don't yet realize that when it comes to basement finishing, new methods like these make a whole lot of sense.